be judging me? Why are they looking at me like this? Am I making sense? Oh my God, I am nervous. Oh my God, should I speak now? What am I going to say next? They're all looking at me. Is my body language not showing that I'm nervous? Yeah, that is social anxiety. But you are not alone. Okay, hello out there. My name is Cindy Petronella and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome into my spaceship and subscribe. Okay, and those returning, you already know it's mega love from me. I appreciate the support that you guys show me. It's highly, highly appreciated and thank you so much. Mwah. The month of May is mental health awareness. So I thought it's fitting just to speak about this serious topic that goes through in our society and yeah, maybe I could try to help somebody out there and just to show them that you are not alone. What is mental health awareness? Mental health awareness is an ongoing effort to reduce the stigma about mental health conditions or mental illness. Okay, some people do speak about their own experiences and so that you don't have to suffer in silence. Okay, yeah. Um, I feel like in Africa, people don't really speak about it as they do in America. Also for men, a man cannot be depressed. Uh, a man can be vulnerable. You cannot cry because you're a man. No, it's okay to be vulnerable. I feel like in the African culture, it's really not uh, openly uh, spoken about. Slowly, let me say, the generation I am in, the 90s and the 80s, people are talking about it, but not as much. And I feel sad for people that were before me, the older generation, it was really not a topic. You cannot have depression, you cannot have anxiety or any other mental conditions. Um, but I'm happy that people now in some parts are in Africa, they are speaking about it. Uh, yes, we have a long way to go, but there's nothing to be ashamed of. You are not alone. The topic that I chose for mental health awareness is social anxiety. Yeah, a study shows over 300 million people around the world have social anxiety. So you are not alone. So from kids, young and old adults go through this. It just shows that everybody does go through this. You are not alone. So do not suffer in silence. Okay. And I feel like in the African culture, yeah, we have a long way to go because people think I mental illness. No, we should be open about this. And if you can, and if you can afford, seek for help or speak to somebody or support each other out there. What is social anxiety? In my own explanation, social anxiety is thinking of the worst case scenario before the actual event or the actual meeting, social meeting or gathering. Yeah, can I be honest? When I was young, I did have social anxiety, like to speak in a public group, my heart could pump and I could get sweaty, you know, and like to think everybody's looking at me, am I saying the right things? Did I make any sense? Uh, should I have said that? Hmm, I shouldn't have said that. Why am I quiet? Oh, uh, they're all looking at me. There's an awkward silence, should I speak now? Or just keep quiet because you're thinking what to say next and it's all these thoughts running into your head. Yeah, that was me in the past, but now I've tried 
to manage it. I try to master my thoughts and yeah, it's better. I'm getting better. But of course, I was one of those people that had social anxiety and it's okay. This makes us human, but yes, it can get intense. If you are not familiar with social anxiety, that is good for you. But I know there are people that go through this. I just want to say again, you are not alone. And for those who are not familiar with it, maybe this can shed some light. She could help somebody out there that you see that is suffering from this. And we can help each other. These are the symptoms of social anxiety. Fear to be seen anxious intensive fear to interact with the stranger or to talk to the stranger or to see somebody that you know you want to hide away like oh gosh I cannot do this worrying about humiliating or embarrassing yourself um, the fear of being in a situation you may think you might be judged <laughs> negatively yeah there's so many symptoms that describes social anxiety, but it's okay. Everybody goes through this. I feel like also environmental factors play a role of social anxiety. It depends how you are raised, the people around you, your family, friends, your circle, your work. I can share with you my two tips how to manage your social anxiety. Number one, control your breathing. When we are anxious, we tend to breathe fast and become shallow. And this can make our body really uncomfortable. So try to control your breathing. Hold your breath for five seconds and then let it out. Three seconds out with the mouth. This can make you really calm and get your senses. The other one is control your thoughts. Guys, the brain sometimes can fool us. <laughs> yes, it does. The brain can think of worst case scenarios or think of things that does not even exist. Um, yeah, we love the brain, but sometimes the brain was built to protect us. So it just goes to that mode, protection, protection, to protect you from danger. So if you see yourself, you feel anxious, Try to control your thoughts. Be aware of it. Oh, now I'm nervous. But I'm not going to let my thoughts control me because thoughts create emotions. So try to master this. Once you master this, you are good to go. It's okay to be anxious, but you can manage the situation by controlling your thoughts. And yeah, I hope this does help somebody out there suffering from social anxiety. Social anxiety affects many people and people want to be alone. They avoid uh, big settings, you know, or events. They find comfort in being alone. It's okay to be alone. Social anxiety affects you. It really limits you to experience people, life, and I just hope whoever is going through social anxiety, try to seek help, watch YouTube videos. There's tons of videos from professionals out there on YouTube. Okay, and just know you are not alone. All right, you matter. You are important. Nobody is you. That is your superpower. We all get anxious time to time. It's normal, okay? And I hope this video can really help somebody out there to overcome this. It takes time, okay? You are not alone though. Just know this. Yeah. My advice is please be kind out there. We never know what somebody is going through mentally, physically, 
let's try to be better people let's try to spread love show love and to be less judgmental and i'm sure because of corona with the pandemic social anxiety spiked so high which is understandable let's try to love each other we all belong here we all should love each other life is just an amazing experience let's make it worthwhile okay and i hope you enjoyed my video feel free to connect with me did you relate with this any suggestions tips share with me i'm always open for anything and yeah you are not alone okay you matter and you belong i love you Mwah. cheers <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.